Hi guys, welcome back to one more interesting video on FFB build series. If you are following our channel, you might have definitely come across our DIY force feedback gaming setup and all the upgrades we have done for it. So make sure to check out the complete playlist from the link in the description box. So in today's video, we'll be adding a realistic RPM lights for our gaming rig. Okay, scene 82, village chase, action! To make it easier, I'll split the video into two parts, hardware and software. So first, we'll concentrate on the hardware required for this project. In our gaming setup, we are using this Arduino Leonardo board as a main controller, which is running the EMC firmware. We cannot add the RPM lights on this board. We need to use additional board I'll be using this Arduino Uno board, but you can go with any one of the options. Next, for the RPM lights, I'll be using WS2812B LED strip. I bought this one, which is a 1 meter LED strip and comes with 60 LEDs. But you can go with any number. I have cut the strip equally into two pieces having 30 LEDs on each side. Since I will be adding on both the sides of the rig. Moving on to the connections, it's very simple. We have three terminals, 5 volts, data in and ground. So we have to ensure the direction here. 5 volts and ground goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground and the data in goes to digital pin 6. I'll also add the other piece of LED strip to the same pins in parallel and this is optional. After the connections, I'll plug the Arduino board to the computer USB port. So this is on the hardware side. Moving on to the software side, we need to install a software called SimHub, which reads the data from the game and control the devices. So first download the SimHub installer file from the official website. which have already downloaded and you can install this exe file during installation process make sure you have internet connection in your computer because the tool downloads some dependencies After completing the installation, open SimHub Go to Arduino section My Hardware tab and click on Open Arduino Setup tool For the first time, the tool downloads some Arduino support packages and this will take some time Once it's done, we get this pop-up. Click on start from scratch. So this software can be used with multiple devices listed here. We'll try to explore one by one in the further videos. But in this particular video, we'll try to work on this WS28 LED strip. So before configuration, 
select the board you are using from the drop down in my case it's Arduino Uno and the COM port of your board in this LED tab here you can use this plus minus option to increase or decrease the number of LEDs I'm using 30 LEDs in the strip so I'll directly give it as 30 and the data in pin is connected to digital pin 6 so I'll keep it as it is while you are doing configuration the tool parallelly creates a circuit for you on the right side which you can use it for a reference so apart from this you can keep rest settings as default and for uploading enable this checkbox and click on upload after uploading we can close this page and here select the RGB LED tab so this is where you can configure the effects for your LED strip already we have one group by default inside this there are multiple effects like flag RPM speed limiter and car start so you can decide whichever effect is required for you and enable or disable using these buttons I only prefer to keep the RPM effect so I'll only keep this on and disable others inside the RPM effect you have to give the start position of the LED so I want from first LED and LED count it's 30 in my case and start color I've kept it as green and end as red the RPM mode it's in percentage minimum is 0 and max is 100 and if you want the blinking effect after reaching the red line you can enable this option apart from this effects if you click on add effect option there are a lot of options for speed turbo ABS brake indicator turn indicators and many which you can try to explore so after doing required configuration we can test how it works even before the game click on open test data editor and you have option to increase the RPM here if I take this the LEDs are working as per this configuration and for red line they are blinking you can also change the color or any other parameters in runtime for example I'll keep the start color as blue and end color as orange with this we are done with all the required configuration so the last step is to test this on the game for that go to home and in this page you can see lot of games listed so always make sure you open the game directly from the simum software so first I'll take this basic game which is LFS select and go to game config here for this particular game we can already see the UDP port and it says game is configured properly in this case you can directly launch the game but for some games if you open the game config for example ETS2 you can see this message saying simhub can't configure the game here 
we have to do the configuration manually. Click on open instructions and follow the steps provided in this document. So this will be different from one game to other. So if you follow it properly, it will definitely work. Finally, to test our RPM lights, I launch the LFS game. So till here, everything is working as expected. At last, I'll mount this RPM lights on my gaming rig. Okay, scene 82, village chase, action! So that's all for this video. I hope all the steps are clear. Still if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. We'll be coming up with even more upgrades on this gaming rig. Stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you for watching.